What's going on guys? So we got our load. Um, don't know how much it pays. I can tell you that much. Uh, it goes to Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Uh, we were about 90 miles away from Jersey City from the pickup, which is here. Uh, we're still in New Jersey, but um, we've already been loaded up. Uh, we got our paperwork already called it in, scaled it, all that. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been a actually a short week honestly it felt really long but it hasn't been but um that last load was a little weird um it just felt a little odd but we got through it but um now we're headed to wisconsin uh should make some decent money there and then also i'm gonna try and see if i can deliver tomorrow if i can deliver tomorrow even better um, I'm gonna drive till like 8 o'clock tonight. That way, tomorrow morning I can wake up early. Go ahead and see if I can deliver. If I deliver it tomorrow, I can pick up another load and get on out of there. But, um, but yeah, so my goals um, obviously, um, I, I mentioned it in, a, in another video. Uh, I have uh, my birthday's on the 20th of next month, so I'm trying to see if I can purchase a truck before then or by then. Um, I need $7,200 to make it happen. I have that money, but I don't have the other money, which is uh, I need the money to uh, fix my paperwork. I have my authority. I just need to change some things on it. And also the plates, and I need money for the road for the first two or three weeks at least. Um, I am going to be factoring, so that's, you know, that's a little bit helpful for me. Um, the place that I'm going with, I was going to go with LRM, but I heard a lot of things about them. And, um, you know, I know it's not, you know, their fault. And I know there's a lot of people that talk a lot of stuff that's not true. Um, excuse me. Um, but they had a truck that was like 8,000 down and had like 540,000 miles. And it was like 1750 for 46 months. The truck came out to like 65, somewhere around there. And at Freedom Way Truck, they had one, uh, a newer truck. It was a 2017, the one that, uh, uh, excuse me, at um, LRM was 2015. So this 20, 2017 truck, they wanted $7,200 down, and it was like $1,400 for 40 months, something like that. And um, the truck came out to like 50, comes out to like 50,000, somewhere around there. So for me, that's a much better deal. Um, the difference is that one has an APU and one doesn't. And also the mileage. The one at Freedom Way has much less. How many miles less? It has like, let's see. It has about 80 to 90,000 miles less. So um, that's a huge difference. You know, that's a lot, probably like, what, like six months, seven, a little bit more like like eight or nine months of running run time so um, that's if you run hard if you run soft then that's like a year and a half two years of run time um, but uh yeah that's my plans and as you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do for insurance there's this company out there that's called um, uh, carrier headquarters or insurance I can't remember the name something like that so basically they provide you with the insurance they also provide you with cargo insurance um you can put down the down payment and um continue on with somebody else or you can factor with them and they uh, they give you the insurance with no down payment and you just have to keep factoring with them and you know whatever whatnot um their factoring is pretty similar to everybody else's two percent you know anywhere from one and a half to two to three percent depending on what you do and how much you factor um but it's a non-recourse same as everybody else i mean there's not much of a difference i mean you might as well do it with them and save yourself the down payment for the if you're starting off if you're already been doing been in business and you have money saved up by all means go wherever it's cheaper even if you have to give a down payment but uh, for me, starting off, I think that's my best uh, plan of action. Um, obviously, I need money for the load boards, to pay for the load boards. I need money for the ELD, the, uh, I need money for uh, also 
uh, fuel so that's why I put myself right around 3,000 for two weeks at least you know that pays me you know it'll pay for at least one month of load board service it'll pay for at least one month of the ELD service um, you know things like that you know at least it'll give me one month that I can you know sit back save as much money as I can and keep going um, I'm not going to be renting a trailer, I'm actually going to be doing power only, but I'm going to do, be doing loadouts on a lot of trailers because I have a buddy of mine that works with a company that, you know, gives them trailers all the time for, you know, 10 days, 15 days sometimes. It just depends on how far he's going. Usually his, his uh, distance is somewhere around 700 miles, 800 miles, uh, which is pretty damn good. He usually goes from Denver to Ohio, um, that area. And from Denver, most of the time he deadheads or he picks up a load in Denver. Or if there's nothing good in Denver, he picks it up in Arizona. Arizona usually has a lot of good paying loads going out, so that's a big plus for him. Um, hopefully, we'll stop doing that routine. But, uh, but yeah, let's get on out of here. We, uh, We are headed on out, uh, so we'll try and see how much we can drive today. It should be probably around seven to seven hours, so probably around seven fifty-eight, eight o'clock at night. We'll stop and um, get going. So my clock just reset after the thirty-minute break, so I'll probably drive that full eight hours and just stop right there, and then wake up tomorrow morning and drive the rest. Because um, as far as I know, let's see here. Should be like 817 miles away, which is like 12, 13 hours. So I should leave me around 200 and something miles left um, for tomorrow. So I'll catch on in a little while. Uh, as soon as, uh, well, I'll catch on tomorrow, better yet. See y'all. Uh, Probably, i say, probably around 12 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I should be getting there, so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. What's up guys, so we are here in Wauwatosa, I guess is a, a Cargill, but uh, it's a little different warehouse, the warehouse is inside of a warehouse, or excuse me, the dog doors are inside of the warehouse, so we'll see what happens here, just going to check in right now, it's a little odd because they, they tell you to call the phone number, and then when I call, they're like, oh, you need to come inside. And I'm like, I have to just put on here, check in it between eight and something, not to call. This is what it says. It says, please call to check in. So I'll catch on a little bit, see what happens. This is a... So yeah, it's, in, it's inside. The dock doors are inside. I was looking all over the place last night for, because I got here yesterday. I didn't even know where to go, so I finally found the door that they were talking about, but 
Let's see what happens here. What's going on guys? So uh, we dropped off the load already. Um, had a little bit of a kind of a, a little scared because the lady was like, oh, I don't have any BOLs to give you because we don't have a copier to give you. And I was like, uh, so I had to call dispatch and they're like, oh, just take pictures of it. Have her sign the one that she has and take some pictures of it and then just leave. But uh, she, the lady did give me a, a warehouse receipt. So, which is kind of odd that they don't have a copier because most printers nowadays have a, have a copier or a scanner, at least. So, but anyways, um, I'm going to go pick up a load right now. Um, this one is in Butler, Illinois. It's about seven miles away, and it's going out to only, on, excuse me, Butler, Wisconsin, going out to only Illinois. It's uh, 334 is the mileage loaded, and it's paying 877.15, which is not bad. So it's almost $3 a mile. A little bit less than three dollars, like two seventy. So uh, let's go ahead and go pick this one up, and I'll catch up with y'all in a little while. What's going on, guys? So we're here at the Cargill in uh, Butler, Wisconsin. Um, been here once before. Uh, it's been about four or five months, or anything like something like that. But anyways, they should be loading me here pretty quickly. A little while, but um. Uh, oh. Man, I've been dealing with the insurance lately. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, there are companies out there for um, guys that are starting off. Sorry, I was looking at this guy. Anyways, I thought he was going to knock on my door. But um, there are companies out there that uh, will finance your full premium if you factor with them. Um, you just have to look for them. It might not be the best insurance company, but to start off, they're probably what you want to look for. Um, the company I'm working with, they also offer a program where if you drive safe, they you know knock off $100, $150 a month. So $1,000 a year, I'll take it. Um, anything you can save when you start it off is pretty good. But anyways, um, my insurance premium is $14,000. With the cargo insurance, um, you're looking at seventeen or eighteen thousand somewhere around there. So it's a uh, pretty decent. Um, I'm only paying like two hundred and some, two hundred fifty, two hundred seventy dollars, something like that. But uh, when I first started out, when I was doing XPO, when I was had my, when I got my own authority, I was paying like eighteen hundred dollars a month, and it was under twenty six thousand pounds. I was a um, box truck, twenty six foot. I was working uh, de delivering for cons, um, but yeah, it was, I was paying. I was paying pretty high. That was local, but in this case, I'm it's a pretty decent rate for what I'm doing. I and more than likely the reason is because I'm just over a year uh, that I've had the uh, authority, so um, it, it works into my benefit. So. Um, I do need to change the information because I am rated for under twenty six thousand. So I, I gotta pay like, probably like fifteen hundred dollars to the company that set up my paperwork so they can do everything and set everything up for me. So, as soon as I get that done, all I have to do is get my truck, get the insurance, sending all the paperwork, get my permits, plates, and I'm out. Hopefully by the end of February. If not, you know I can wait a week or a week or two or something like that. You know, like I said, I don't want to do anything in a rush because as soon as you start rushing things, that's when things start going wrong. So, anyways, let's uh, go ahead and wait for these people. Um, probably gonna be here for an hour. They're usually pretty quick. I don't know what's going on, but um, we'll see what happens. So, I'll catch y'all in a little while. All right, guys. So we got our paperwork. Um, it's pretty light load, so that works out in our favor. Um, also, the temp is not negative one like it says on the on the Qualcomm. And we're gonna be traveling light going downhill, so we should be able to get there today. Um, I'm probably gonna stop at that Petro going down 41 because um, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, 346 miles, so um, let's get to it. I'll catch on in a little while. Alright guys, we out of here. We done delivered.
over here at the Walmart. Let me go park at the new Lowe's that they just built. Uh, I'm gonna sit there for a little while. I know where we're going next, but uh, it should be probably, probably about an hour, hour and a half before I find out, but we'll see. So, let's go ahead and head on over there. And, uh, probably take a little nap because uh, I didn't sleep much today, so I wasn't really tired last night since I've been going to sleep late. To sleep late again, but I woke up early, so it wasn't too bad here. I got here at 6, and it's currently 9.49, excuse me, 8.49, so about two, well, almost three hours. Let's go ahead and get on out of here and uh, find out where we're going. Should probably, like I said, be about an hour. I already submitted all my paperwork, so it should be good. Hopefully we can get a decent load. Coming out of here, probably delivering tomorrow. Um, hopefully before 4 o'clock, see if we can get a little bit more money on this belt before the week is over. Uh, make, make, make this coming week's paycheck a little bit better. Uh, like I said, I didn't, I didn't, last week I didn't make any money. I was still like $378 on the whole, so uh, this week I should make some money, and uh, from here on out we should be good, so. Uh, go ahead and get this taken care of here. Turn it my deep jerk. down the street so I'll take you out with me. Alright, we're here, so let me flip this camera around real quick. 
So, uh, for those of you that ever delivered to Walmart before or looking to get into your CDL, I had somebody message me on, uh, send me an email asking what to do to be able to do a lease purchase. So I, I'll say something here real quick. So he's getting his CDL, but um, he wants to do lease purchase right away. My recommendation is probably do a company driver first. At least get those first six months out of the way, and then uh, you know do a lease purchase. At least you get some experience out of it. Um, you're not gonna make as much, but you get some experience. Uh, it's always my recommendation for everybody because when you do a lease purchase, and something happens, you're responsible for it. You know, uh, with at least a little bit of experience, you know what to do and what what you can and can't do. Um, Regardless, though, if you get your CDL, most of the time, if you want to do these purchase, you're still going to do six months at Prime um, with training and all that. It's going to end up being six months anyway, so uh, that's just how Prime works. Uh, I already had six months, so basically I just did the three-day orientation, and then I got in the truck and took off. So, um, but it's my recommendation is always to do at least six months of experience, and then you can find somewhere or find it even come. I recommend I recommend Prime if you're just starting out if you just want to getting to the habit of being a owner up just so you know what you're looking at. But um, so for those that have never uh, delivered at a Walmart, you get this. This is your proof of delivery, and you get a trailer control. Usually this they keep it, but this time she said just to go ahead and keep it. Um, always changes and then your BOL. So those are the three most of the time the three papers that you get, but. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a little while, probably like another hour before they give me something and then uh, head on out, but that'll be it for this one and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.